If you ask the city, the smoking ban is a hit, and according to Smoke Free NOLA, 8 out of 10 New Orleanians support the new law. But with every issue, there's always two sides. To find the biggest critics of the smoking ban, you don't have to travel far in the French Quarter, more specifically, Bourbon Street. Well, I didn't like it when it was first put into effect, and I like it even less now. Earl Bernhardt owns Tropical Isle, home of the world famous hand grenade. He said the indoor ban, as he predicted, has been bad for business because many of his patrons, he says, are smokers. It's costing us anywhere from one to five thousand dollars a day in law sales. Harris Casino has also claimed drops in revenue over the past six months, but Smoke Free NOLA claims the results of a recent survey of 500 registered voters in New Orleans revealed nearly 80 percent of people polled approve. I've been in the bar business going on 16 years now, and there was one thing I always wanted to walk up to a customer and take their order and not hold my breath. And I finally get a chance to do that. The study found hazardous air levels before the ban have dropped nearly 90 percent in the first six months the ban's been in place. Those hazardous chemicals out of the air, that's a huge impact on the people working in that environment. Not a smoker himself, Bernhardt said he's faced countless challenges in his 30 plus years in business, and he knows the smoking ban won't be the last. Fortunately, we've been able to work through them and we'll work through this. Reporting from the French Quarter, Andy Cunningham, WDSU News.